Hello and welcome to Linux Quest. Well, Linux Mint 19 Beta has been released and I'm sure many, if not all of you watching this video, are well aware of Linux Mint and that there's been a new release. There have been several very good videos going through all of the updates that are coming. I decided to go ahead and install the beta version and I went with the tried and true Cinnamon Desktop, their much beloved Cinnamon Desktop. Now in the past I haven't run Cinnamon much so my comparison as to what's what as far as speed and those improvements it's going to be hard for me to gauge that but we'll step through a few things there. And since most of you have probably read through, I'll put a link to this so that you can get through to the details if you like. But I'm going to quickly go over the majority of this. Uh, so time shift, that's a big part of you know, what was introduced in 18.3. Um, so it's now the center of Linux Mint's update strategy. So we'll take a quick look at that. The update manager has improved, or should I say there are updates to the update manager. Um, the welcome screen's been improved, so it's been refined. We'll take a quick look at that as well. Improvements to the software manager. Um, it's got flat pack, flat pack support. I've got to slow down on those words, flat pack support. Uh, that was introduced in Mint 18.3 as well. There are transitions that are in place, and you can see them, or I can see them. Maybe they will show up in the video. We'll take a quick look and see if you can see those transitions. They're, they're not as smooth and fast as I would like, but part of that could be the system that this is on. Um, Cinnamon 3.8 has been improved. They're saying now that it feels snappier because it's faster and more efficient at launching applications. So we'll take a look at that. And They've actually got some stats here. Uh, in comparison from 3.6 to 3.8. Um, you can also adjust the maximum sound level and I, I do want to pull up the sound settings because it's it is a beautiful settings panel and I, I'll just point out a few things uh, there and it may have been in place in 18.3 and I just you know I ran uh, Mint XFCE for some time it was an excellent distribution rock solid and maybe it's just that I didn't really notice uh, some of the things I want to point out here when we pull up the settings uh, side of things. Uh, file search, it's faster, much faster they're saying than before. Uh, notifications are smaller. And then they list a whole thing here on other improvements to do with uh, Nemo extensions, network settings, um, touchpad improvements, things like that. High DPI support has been improved and then X app improvements as well as improvements to um, the artwork and GNOME Calendar or GNOME Calendar, whichever one you use, has been included. Uh, the online accounts is set up and maybe that was there in 18.3. Again, I just didn't know it. And then there have been artwork improvements. I also want to say that, oh, let's not skip over. This is LTS. So you're going to get security updates until 2023. Um, so Cinnamon is at 3.8 and the Linux kernel will be 4.15. Uh, and this is based off of Ubuntu 18.04. Now there have been some updates that popped up. I installed this last night, so I haven't had a lot of time with it. Uh, but there are 30 snapshot updates here. So everything from Flatpak to Mint Themes, firmware. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think I saw there's Pulse Audio. And I believe uh, Linux Kernel 415, there's an update there. What else? Pulse Audio, um, X11, and the XDG Desktop Portal. So uh, I'll update those after the video, but just kind of wanted to give you that rundown. So if you installed the beta last night, or maybe today, you may see this same rundown of updates. So we'll get that after the video. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And now let's jump over. What I did here, this is not the default theme, so real quick. Let's jump in and take a look at the wallpapers and what the default wallpaper will be once you launch in. Um, the Mint team has always had really high quality wallpapers in place here. A lot of um, you know nature scenes and things like that. But they're just really high definition, super high quality images. Um, so that's nice to see. And then here's the default Mint theme. So we'll go ahead and change over to that. I've never been a huge fan of this Linux Mint logo, although this is the best version they've had yet, and this wallpaper is stunning for what it is. I mean, it's you know it's kind of a, a dark gray coming down to the Mint theme here or Mint logo here, but 
whoever did this, um, excellent job. It's very high quality and, and really stands out, kind of looks three-dimensional. So nice job there. Uh, but I'm going to go back over to this uh, Cartier here. I think that's just pretty cool. Uh, Waves is also very nice. Again, these are all high def. Let's see, there was another city scene down here. Kind of cool there. Um, toy Store. There we go. That's probably more my speed right there. Uh, <laughs> there are some settings here. Nothing really stands out as far as being totally uh, different or new here, but you can play backgrounds as a slideshow, and then you can change uh, from mosaic all the way down to spanned. I just... I don't I don't know if I said this already or not, but the font rendering out of the box here is fantastic on this monitor. This is not a high DPI monitor, but I haven't had to tweak the fonts or anything within Firefox or just going through everything. It just looks so crisp and everything looks really, really polished. So job well done there. Uh, while we're here, we might as well take a look at system settings. So you've got categories from appearance to preference, hardware, administration. Um, there's one area here where I would say um, you don't see transition. So if you hover the mouse here, it'd be nice to see a change in color or something just to you know, make it stand out a little more. You actually see that in some of the other settings panels, like sound settings, for example. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So it'd be nice maybe to see that or just a slight hue color change to differentiate one category from the other. But other than that, everything else looks very polished here. Um, so let's move on over, speaking of sound settings, and that was an area, again, I wanted to point out that I just thought looked really, really well done. These uh, icons here really stand out, super sharp. Uh, just this is part of the polish that makes Linux Mint stand out from some of the other distributions. And again, i got to go back to the this is Cinnamon Desktop, which I haven't spent a tremendous amount of time in. Maybe this was in 18.3 and I just didn't know it. Uh, but when I look at it now, it's kind of like seeing it for the first time. Uh, and that's where my respect level for what they're doing here really goes up when I see how nice this is, um, you know, from tab to tab here. And then this is one of the things that's new. And again, I, I wouldn't have known that this wasn't there. But now you can take the maximum volume all the way up to 150. So output, input. You know, so when I went in to set up my Yeti microphone for this video, I just was like, whoa, wow, this looks, you know, heads and tails above a lot of the other sound setting controls that I'm used to working with. So nicely done. All right, so we'll go from there, and let's just jump over to the welcome screen. And now I've changed this theming around too, so I'll, I'll jump over to the theme so you can see that. Um, what you see here is nothing that I had to download. This is all built in, so it's quick and easy to change. Uh, I love their teal um, X style icons um, within the folder uh, manager within uh, Nemo. It, it's just really beautiful, so we'll take a look at that as well. All right, so let's bounce around here some. We'll go over to the welcome screen and look at some of those improvements. So I don't think there's anything added here as far as new links or anything like that uh, from 18.3. So you've got like welcome and then first steps. And you do see some transition there again. Not sure if that's going to show up on the video. Uh, let's see if we can maximize this a little, which we can. Nice to have that window control. So you've got system snapshot, driver manager, update manager, system settings, and then software manager. We'll come back to that here in just a second. There's your documentation. Uh, so links to launch into that. Help and contribute. So I think this is a nice way for the navigation to be set up for a welcome screen. Let's go back into syst or first steps and we'll launch right into the software manager and see if that's working from there. All right, I did click it. There we go. Okay, so it took it a minute. Um, this system here is an Intel system with a core i3 SSD with 4 gigs of RAM. Um, so it's not, you know, an old slouch. It's not a beast by any stretch. But some of the areas here as I launch into things seem a little slow. And we'll, we'll get to this in just a minute. You know, Cinnamon is supposed to be faster now at launching apps. I can't, it'll, it'll be hard for me to test that again because I don't, I don't run Cinnamon typically. Um, 
so I really look forward to hearing back from you folks who have run mint and cinnamon. Maybe you can try this beta and, and kind of give us some feedback into the channel as to do you really notice, you know, that big of an improvement. All right, well, here's the software manager. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the welcome screen. We'll maximize this. Um, it's always looked good, in my opinion. They've always done a nice job with categorizing things, um, giving you detailed information about what it is, you know, that you're looking at. Now, there was a transition there as I clicked on that. Whether it shows up or not, there is a transition. It's not the most fluid, smooth transition I've ever seen, but um, it does add a nice effect to it. And here you you know plenty of detail, a photo or two, um, reviews which are nice to have. You can add your own review, so nicely done. And again, there's the transition. Uh, if we go into category, so I'll go into office here. Yep, you see the transition again. But all of this looks great. And there's here's something that stands out. So if you hover your mouse over any of these apps, and it, I don't know if this will show up. All it is is there's just a slight brightness change as you hover over. And those are nice little touches that, as you're using it, just kind of make you feel like you're using something a little special compared to some of the other um, you know, apps that you use within Linux. It's just little fine touches here and there. Uh, let's go over to speed and or go over to search and check the speed. So, oh, well, if I type correctly, so I just wanted to start pulling up Chromium. Yeah, I mean, so so it didn't seem blazing fast to me, but there are lots of things I guess to pull up under Chromium when you're searching for that. Um, let's go back and we'll try simple screen recorder. And again, didn't seem blazing fast, but it's okay. It's acceptable. Uh, and again, this is beta, so we could see improvements. So all in all, really pleased and always have been really with the software manager. And not wanting to close out. There we go. It's not responding. We'll force you. Um, what else do we need to look at here? And I don't want to miss things. Art improvements, we looked at that. We saw the calendar. Not going to really get into X Reader or the X apps, although there, I think, are some improvements. Uh, sound settings, file search, yeah, definitely want to take a look at themes and things like that. Um, let's go in here to. We saw the system manager, so applets. Let's see, I'm going to scroll here. Themes, we'll take a look there. And for the most part, the icon improvements, I, I kind of picked up on. Um, so as you go through and you take a look, things look really clear and crisp. It's not a flat um, icon set. It's, it's kind of bright and colorful, but they do look very professional. I did change over here on the categories. I removed the icons, and I won't get into all of that right now. Like I said, this is not... I changed just a few things, and so I'll step through that here under themes. This is an easy way to go in and change things without a lot of confusion and bouncing back and forth. Um, and they have a decent selection built in. So under your window border, uh, you've got Mint X, which will go with you know just about anything, and Mint Y, which is you know that mint green. And again, I just try to stay away from that mint green, and then dark so that you can see that. So I'm going to go back to Mint X, and then the Mint X icon set is very nice and you've got mint X and mint Y so mint Y is flat and mint X has got some shadow to it and both of those sets to me in this teal are just stunning when you see them in the file manager they just really did a nice job here and I think have continued to improve those under controls you've got different control colors so you could go with that mint aqua so that would match your your folder icon for example not a lot of selection here you got black or white as far as your cursor is concerned and then under desktop um, you've got a few dark themes in place and I'm gonna pop over actually to the mint aqua which will change our panel at the bottom to kind of a light gray and then from there you could add or remove various themes and wallpapers and things like that and then under settings you've got two settings where you can show your 
menu icons or your button icons. So those are your choices there. They keep things simple, but it's effective. Didn't have to do a thing in fonts. And I'm going to go in and tweak the, tweak the effects just a little bit uh, to see you know, what's what there. So let's take a look at Nemo, the file explorer for Linux Mint. And from here, you'll see here again these Mint X icons. Um, some color changes as you hover over. Very well done. Uh, probably as far as File Explorer icons go, these are some of my favorite uh, outside of Dolphin with uh, their default icon set. Um, so, you know, you've got all, all the functions you need here. I mean, uh, zoom in, zoom out. And that's one area here where these Mint X icons, as you zoom in, there's no blur. They don't lose their sharpness. Um, everything stays as it should uh, as you zero in. And you can control how much information you see on the folders. Um, you know, it, this is this is a well done file manager. Um, text beside the icons, you can use a compact layout, and this is under your different view settings. Uh, you've got some behavior options like single click to open, uh, click on a file name twice to rename it. Um, I really need to dig into this. It's been a while since I've um, you know spent some time within Nemo and looked for any changes or improvements here so list column um, choices here preview options and then toolbar settings so yeah this looks like an area to spend a little more time and become more familiar uh, right click options and this is one of the things that I've always appreciated. You can change the uh, color. So if we wanted to add a little color to that one and make public stand out. Uh, move to trash. Open as root. Oh, wow. That's nice to see built in there. What else have we got? Open in terminal. Uh, sharing options. Open with. And properties. Permissions, emblems, share. So, very nice. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up from there. Um, as always, I appreciate you watching. And if you run Linux Mint currently and you know, you're trying out the beta, I'd love to hear from you as far as the speed of the Cinnamon desktop. Again, really hard for me to gauge it. Uh, but would love to hear back from you. What do you think about the improvements that you're uh, seeing lined up here in the beta? And um, or if you've never tried it, are you interested in trying it now? Based on you know some of the things you've seen with this video or other video videos, I can attest to Linux Mint XFCE being an excellent distribution. I want to spend a little more time with Cinnamon here. Uh, I need to give it a fair shake. I think after the final release. Uh, just with some of the improvements I've seen, I, I think it's going to turn out to be a really nice release for the Mint team. So congratulations. All right. As always, thanks for watching and take care.